Getting started with College Insights is very easy. When you come to the Discover page, you'll have two options, search by college name or all filters. Searching by college name is very simple. You just click on to this section, type in any school that you prefer, and just use the drop down menu here to select the school that you're looking for. In each school, we have all the information that you would need to view the status of the college, how many undergraduates there are, honors programs, and you can scroll through all the different aspects of this college by simply clicking on this navigation section. You can view the top majors by this college by scrolling up and down either with this bar or with your mouse. And all of the data that you would want to see about this school is located here. If you're looking for aid or merit scholarships, all of the information is located here. You could view more buttons here, which will take you to the website that gives you more detailed information from this college. Now we're going to take a look at all filters. From the Discover page, you have the option of searching by a college name or this button called All Filters. This allows you to get a real deep dive and dig in deeper on all of the colleges that are available throughout the country. Many parents and students have different approaches to how they want to be able to achieve this, but what this tool does really well is give you the option of choosing which majors you may want to explore a little bit more of throughout the country, the locations, the school size, academic scoring, and pretty much everything that you might need to make a good decision on where you want to apply, where you want to build your list, and what you want to investigate a little bit further along the college journey. Once you've established a search, you'll be met with results that probably look something like this. You'll want to sort all of the information by using the sort by feature and looking up everything by everything from college name to average SAT and whatever you see fit for your own college search. But this is just a stepping stone to building your list. We encourage all parents and students at this point to start bookmarking and taking note of the type of information that they're getting. There is a lot here and patience is required when it comes to building a really good college list. The good news is you can make as many lists as you want if you're a premium subscriber. To build a list it's very simple. Select the bookmark and you can either add a new list if you're a premium subscriber you can save to the default My College list. And prior to this, I created a list called the new list for today. In this instance, I'll just use that list right now and you'll get a notification that that bookmark is saved. At this point, you can continue to search. Saving a school is very easy. We recommend that when you start to find the types of schools that you want to save and bookmark these schools, we have a very intuitive design here for bookmarking. Simply select the bookmark and you can either add a new list or we give you a default list called My College List. For this example, we're just going to choose My College List. You'll get a confirmation that the bookmark was saved. And by selecting My Lists, you'll be able to see in this particular example some schools that I had already saved. You can view the other schools in this list by simply selecting the next button that will take you to the following pages and load the schools in in the order that you had wound up putting them in. If you recall, in the advanced search, we had a sorting. We have the same exact sorting capabilities in my list that you had in advanced search or the filter all button. The ability to view notes and create notes. We have that here now. Simply go over to the college and add a note. This is a really great way when you're visiting a school or during the research process, you can communicate with maybe somebody that's sharing your account, parent, student, 
either way, this is a really great way to be able to memorialize uh, any feelings you may have about the school, some things that the school may or may not fit in the criteria that you're looking for when it comes to searching. You can also delete and edit these as you see fit. You can look at highly detailed information like you saw based on the four categories in the college profile. Simply scroll down and look at all of the information and you'll be able to compare your schools as you see fit. In this case, aid and merit scholarships and school profile aren't that important. I just want to look at admissions. So in the admissions, I'll be able to look at all of this interesting data and really be able to make an informed decision about whether I want to add this to another list or if I want to remove it entirely. It's very easy. We showed you the bookmark button before, but it's right here. You can delete it from all lists. You can delete it from the list, this list, or if you feel like you want to narrow down or create a new list, you can build off of this list into a new list. We recommend this for a lot of parents and students that may have saved a number of schools and are starting to narrow down and really want to just start breaking their list down into different groups uh, based on the need that they have at the time. Maybe schools that you're visiting, maybe schools that you're definitely eliminating. Um, we recommend using this bookmark button throughout. You can add notes to this entire list. And if you want to add any more college, it's as simple as selecting this button, looking up your school, or using the all filters again.